So, you want to expand your knowledge. Whether you're looking to advance your career, fuel your hobby, break into a new industry, or teach your talents to others, Skillshare states that they can help you reach your goal. But can they? I spent over 30 hours on the platform to find out. Here's what I learned. Like many online learning platforms, Skillshare states that they can close the gap from amateur to professionals for those looking to improve their skills. They offer a wide variety of topics from business acumen to fitness. However, where they provide the most value are in creative topics, mainly graphic design, photography, motion graphics, and cinematography. Why are there so many topics offered though? Because Skillshare allows anyone to teach a course. It's great because you'll have a lot of topics covered that you wouldn't normally see created. And they make it easy to set up a course with very few guidelines. But this comes with a downside. The low barrier to entry means continuity between courses vary a lot. Courses can vary in production quality and teaching delivery, and some courses can be as short as 10 minutes and others as long as 6 hours. But it's not all bad though. In fact, one of the best courses I took was on lighting for videography, and it was only 15 minutes. However, I took another course on voiceover only to have the instructor ramble on about himself and what it's like to be a voice actor. Like I said before, Skillshare offers the most value in creative topics. Other topics seem to have less quality content and less content altogether. Take coding for instance. Yes, there are courses in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but most of them are short and introductory. For a web developer seriously looking to improve their skills, this may not be the site for them. But a few excellent instructors are on here like Brad Hussey, who I've taken courses with on Udemy, and his six and a half hour course on introductory PHP. Still, it's introductory. Speaking of exceptional instructors, I was surprised to find quite a few here, including Seth Godin for content marketing, Gary Vaynerchuk for social media, and Aaron Droplin for logo design. Now this is definitely a huge plus. Finding solid content from these creators can be hard to piece together, and Skillshare has put it all in one place. In addition to single courses, Skillshare has pieced together learning tracks that help you learn topics such as animation, digital marketing, and illustration. This has now become common practice for learning sites, but it's important to note that because courses have been simply lumped together, Rather than truly being tracks to build upon, it makes them feel more segmented than other platforms. I took the short introduction to UX track, and this is the feeling I got from it. So, if you take another track, it might be different. One of Skillshare's unique features is the ability to share projects. Once you've completed a course, you're encouraged to share what you've learned by uploading a project and sharing it with the Skillshare community. It's interesting to see all the different projects completed. Of course, you'll be seeing more projects in creative courses. It also provides users the ability to like and comment on your project as well, so there's a social aspect to it. It's not a huge differentiator, but it's a nice touch. So many times I've completed a project with no one to share it with, and this is a great way to address that. All of the information is organized well. The layout of the website is beautiful and fully responsive, and so is the iPad app. Searching for classes is pretty straightforward. I didn't have any issues with it. However, using other parts of Skillshare can be confusing. Before you take a class, you'll have to enroll in it to view the entire course. I wish I could just watch it. I assume this is to help track which students are actually taking classes and dictates how much a teacher will earn from the courses based on enrollment. After logging in, you'll have to select classes from the top right of your desktop or the center bottom on the iPad, and then you'll be taken to a screen that shows continue watching or save classes. Why these couldn't be on the same page with a filter or an accordion menu is beyond me. It's just one or two extra steps that I simply don't need to take. When you take a course, Skillshare tracks your progress. It will show you how much you've progressed with a green progress bar at the bottom of the course's thumbnail. But it isn't always accurate. I've completed a lot of courses, and the progress bar shows that I've only completed about 10% of the class. Coming back to tracks, which we talked about earlier, there isn't a way to actually have it show up somewhere on your profile or anywhere that I'm aware of. So you have to log into your computer, hover over the browse button, select track, find the track that you're looking for, and then find the right course that you're looking for within that track. At least, that's the only way that I could do it. Again, that's too many steps, and I couldn't even find the tracks feature on the iPad at all. Competitors have figured out how to make this simpler, and I'm sure Skillshare will catch on, but in the meantime, this isn't ideal. The profile section acts as a hub that keeps track of everything you're associated with, from projects, courses enrolled, and courses you'll be teaching. You'll also be able to see all your classes from here. I think it's laid out much better than the Your Classes section. Skillshare has some of the most competitive pricing I've seen from an online learning platform. First off, they offer a plethora of free classes, and for the most part, they're good. Much higher quality than you'd find typically on YouTube. You can learn a lot from free courses. Aside from free classes, they offer premium membership that gives you access to all the courses on Skillshare. And they make the decision to jump up to a premium account easy. You get your first month free, 
and that's a lot of time. Similar platforms give you about two weeks, so this is a pretty good deal. And when it comes to billing, it only comes out to $12 a month. Now, that's insanely cheap. To put it into perspective, lynda.com costs $25 a month for their basic membership, and that's common across all learning platforms. If you're looking to save even more money, you can go all in and pay for a year upfront for $96, which comes out to $8 a month. There's also an option for Teams as well, and it's $8 per user per month. If you subscribe to an annual account, you can get a few discounts from companies like Squarespace and Shutterstock, which are pretty convenient if you're already using them. However, the biggest ones that stand out are those from Adobe. You get 20% off Adobe CC's photography plan and 15% off Adobe CC All Apps plan, and that's a pretty penny. Let me explain. The full creative suite costs $50 a month or $600 annually. 15% saves you 90 bucks, and an annual Skillshare account costs $96. Taking advantage of this discount means you just paid $6 for an annual membership for Skillshare. Pretty good deal. So as you can see, I'm a huge supporter of Skillshare. Despite its issues with usability, limited course selection outside of creative topics, and inconsistent look and feel between courses, it's still worth the money. If you're a creative professional, this might be the best bang for your buck when it comes to continuing your education. Even if you're not, you can browse a ton of free courses and get a whole month free, so why not check it out? It's only $12 a month. And yes, you can use these skills in real life. I upgraded my After Effects game, and now I can make new bumpers for my videos. And I also learned about lighting for YouTube. So I encourage you to check it out, browse the courses, and learn something new. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Consider subscribing, giving this video a like, or sharing it with someone who might find it helpful. Have a question I didn't address? Do you have insight on Skillshare yourself that you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments. That does it for this review, but remember to stay sharp and always be learning. See you next time.